Digi fans, and welcome back to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero. By now, you should be a digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now, this is the last Digidom video in this series. Don't worry, people, I will not abandon you. And this is the one where we design a logo. And that's great because it kind of brings everything together and you can put your logo stamp on all of your Digidom challenges that you've done so far. So if you're using a phone or a tablet, download the Spark apps individually, Spark page, post and video. If you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. Okay, let's get going. So as always, when you're on the desktop, you just press the plus and I'm gonna go here for a custom size graphic. What I'm looking for is a square. So you can go to popular there and just press square. Select next and here we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use a template. Now you can scroll through all sorts of things down here. And the one that kind of jumps out at me is this one. So I'm gonna create from this template, select create there. So let's have a look at this. Now, I, re I really like the way it's kind of the yellow box on the black. Uh, I don't like the background that much, so I'm gonna select that and change it to white. Okay, now I like that a lot more now. Now the text in the middle here, I'm gonna change. So I'm gonna select it by double clicking it and I'm gonna get rid of all of that and put digi done. Now you see it's centered itself and that's kind of nice and I like how that's working. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add an icon because I'm looking for something that represents me and skateboard represents me because I like to go skating. So I'm gonna pop that in there. I don't really want that green. I wanna keep the colors consistent. So I'm gonna go to color over here. I'm gonna go to black and I'm gonna bring that down. So I'm gonna use one of the corners, use the other corner, bring it down and then I'm gonna bring it and you see where the pink line comes, that means it's centered. Cool, this is going well so far. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna look for something else in my icons, which represents me. And I do a lot of filming and I use cameras a lot. So I'm gonna go in here, this one here, pop it in. Now the reason why I've chosen this is because in the middle here, it's like an O. And I've got the O of Digidom, so I'm gonna do something pretty funky here. So I'm gonna press color, I'm gonna change it to black. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna try and get it so that the O of the camera becomes the O of Digidon. That's looking pretty good. But of course, the major issue here now is that the camera is on top of the text. And because they're both black, you can't see the text. So there's a few things you can do. Uh, first of all, you could select it and change the order, right? Um, because it's black, it's kind of not working. So what I think I need to do is to go into my text here. And at the moment, the color is black, but I'm gonna put a secondary color in. And you'll see that it's changed the top text here to white. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag that little end down there. You'll see that now the DOM bit of DigiDOM is white, but I also don't want the top to be white. So you see these little uh, kind of lines with the um, half circle on there. I'm gonna change that. So now the Digi is in black and Dom is in white, which is perfect. Now I might need to just do a little sort of, you can see where the black is kind of poking out behind that, um, the white um, O there. So I'm gonna select the camera. So what I'll do is I'll move that out of the way. I will adjust the camera slightly. Maybe it just, yeah, maybe it does need to sit on, on top of the skateboard. Yeah, quite like that. So then I'm gonna go back to my text, bring that down. Ooh. That's looking good. Now, the only problem with it I've got now is that the digi is kind of blending into the camera. So you see on this line spacing tool here, you can move this around and then lines get closer or they get further away. So if I now put it to the maximum and then I can go back to my text and just use my arrows. Nice. The only thing I don't like is the fact that we've got so much white space around here. So I'm gonna select the black frame then I'm gonna hold down shift, select the yellow square, keep holding down shift, select Digidom, select the camera, keep holding down shift, select the skateboard. Now what that means is that this is all grouped. You can see here, so I've grouped all of that stuff. And now when I go to resize, check it out, it all resizes really nice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and make sure that it's perfectly square, all around the outside, so there's equal spaces everywhere. I like that. Maybe a little bit of using my arrows 
just to get it perfectly in the right space. Now I'm going to ungroup them just by clicking off here. And look at that. There's my logo. It's cool, isn't it? So I'm going to go here, call it a Digidom logo. So I'm going to go to download here. I'm going to select PNG. The reason why I'm going to select PNG is when you select JPEG, it means you get everything on that page downloading, including the white background. But what I'd like is I'd like to use this Digidom logo on some of my videos. And in order to do that, I want the white background to be transparent. So if I select PNG and press start download, it says to me, choose a background type. And I can, I can select solid color if I like, but I can also select transparent. Check that out. It downloads down there. And just so you can see how that PNG works, if I go to create a project now and maybe do something like, let me go to a custom size graphic, popular one, something like a landscape, click next, pop in a photo. Nice, I like it. And then I'm gonna add my own photo, the PNG, open it up, move freely. That's important so I can pop it anywhere I like. It goes in there, I can stick it in the corner. You can see there's no white background. Then I can put a little filter on my photo just to lighten it up a bit or maybe use the matte one. Nice, that gives it that kind of yellowy glow. Cool, now I'm gonna uh, share it by publishing it. This is how you can send it to all your family and your friends, just by pressing the link button there. It creates a link for you. You copy that and then you can open that up in a new page and it looks a little bit like that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I really like it. I hope you enjoyed that, Digi fans, and I'm looking forward to seeing your logos. Share them with me. This is a proud moment for me. Hopefully you've been through all of the Digidom Challenge videos so far, and if you haven't, where have you been? Honestly, some people, so lazy. But yeah, I wanna see your logo and how you're bringing this all together, how you're representing yourself. Now you're a digital hero. So share them with me using the hashtag Digidom or by finding me on the socials, dom underscore trainer. And that's all we've got in this series. Don't forget, I'll be back and I'll see you in the next Digidom series.